Ever since the late 2010s, it's been rumored that China is developing a new attack helicopter, a heavy one to complement the lighter attack and scout helicopters it already has, such as the Z-10 and Z-19. Then, around March 21st, images and videos of the new helicopter finally leaked out. While still quite blurry, some conclusions can still be surmised from them. The new helicopter is indeed large and shares a lot in common with China's Z-20 utility helicopter. One can notice the similar looking or even the same main rotor, the similar looking tail section. It's very likely the engines used are the same as in the Z-20. All that would make a lot of sense. To reuse as much of the powertrain and rotor design elements from a mature helicopter such as Z-20. Z-20 uses WZ-10 turboshaft engines, which are basically what enabled the Z-20 helicopters to be, after years of development. Those are described as modern powerful engines, and indeed their power levels are even slightly above what the latest US Apache and Blackhawk helicopters use. Those two also share a common engine. Two such engines providing 3200 kilowatts should make this new attack helicopter quite agile and enable heavy payloads. The Z-20 helicopter doesn't have published weight figures, but it is usually estimated due to its engine to be in the 10 to 11 ton class. That refers to maximum takeoff weight. So it's very likely, almost assured, that the new attack helicopter shares that figure. There are of course some differences visible. While the main and tail rotors look almost the same, and while the whole tail assembly shares many similarities, it appears as if the tail boom has been lengthened. So there are definitely some weight distribution differences abound. Of course the helicopter lacks the large passenger cabin of the Z-20. That's no surprise as the whole fuselage appears somewhat slimmer when looked at from below. And it's plausible the whole frontal section is even slimmer, except for the bulges similar to the US Apache or Russian Mi-28 helicopters. Compared to the Apache, the new helicopter appears to be of very similar dimensions. Its horizontal tail surface is a bit bigger and it doesn't have the X-type rear rotor. Of course, the 5-blade main rotor, compared to Apache's 4-blade, is also something that's taken from the Z-20. Wings are a bit longer as well, with what appears as three hard points under each wing, unlike Apache's 2. Apache does usually carry sensor pods on its wingtips, but clearer images are needed to see if additional wingtip hard points are available on this new helicopter. Side view shows some differences in the vertical tail, the rotors and the tail landing gear. The whole tail boom is somewhat thicker on the Chinese helicopter and the engine exhausts seem positioned a bit more to the rear. The nose section shows the biggest difference, with a larger nose which is plausibly lacking a large sensor ball yet to be installed. Then there is the cockpit cover, which isn't of step design but is one sloping surface. So less like the Apache, the Mi-28 and China's own Z-10 attack helicopter and more like the Cobra or India's future Prachand attack helicopter. With the pilot and the gunner sitting closer to the same level, forward visibility may not be as good. Curiously, the Z-10 helicopter has the gunner seated behind the pilot. The new helicopter may follow the same logic possibly explaining somewhat poor visibility for the second seat. But there are probably other trade-offs that had to be made which we don't know of. The large protruding object under the nose is likely the pitot tube sensor for prototype testing. That's gonna come off later on in tests. What's visible is the presence of a gun placeholder object for the prototype. Generally, it appears to have the same dimensions as the gun on the Apache. That would suggest a larger caliber than the 23mm gun on the smaller Chinese Z-10 attack helicopter. While 30mm caliber is likely, the overall size points to a gun close to Apache's one, rather than to Mi-28's one. Mi-28 uses longer and heavier 30mm rounds, has a longer barrel and yields higher muzzle velocity. The new Chinese attack helicopter still lacks a designation or name, but we may not have to wait long for one. Given that the powertrain and rotors seem basically lifted from the mature Z-20 design, and those are the most complicated parts of a helicopter, the new attack helicopter may finish development fairly quickly. It's already been developing for years and this sudden flurry of images suggests it was a controlled leak, like many such leaks are in China's military sphere. It's plausible this wasn't even the first test flight. So development time may be closer to Z-19s, itself based on the Z-9 utility helicopter, than on the development of the Z-10. 
perhaps by 2028 or so, we might indeed see first units standing up. As for how might this helicopter be used, that's not much of a mystery. As any attack helicopter, in Army's units for support of its forces, possibly in the Marine Corps as well. We can't possibly know helicopter specs like empty weight, armor value, nor range, though given the helicopter's size, Z-20 heritage and possible Taiwan mission, its plausible range was one of the main requirements. Given the similarities between the Z-20 and modern Black Hawk, here are some Black Hawk specifications, which should be close or somewhat worse than Z-20s, given the power difference. And the new attack helo specs should not be that far off. Apache's and Mi-28 specifications are similar. They're both quite a bit heavier than the previous Chinese attack helicopter, the Z-10, which is a 6-ton class helicopter. Apache stats are probably not applicable to the newest E variant. Mi-28's design has not been structurally upgraded for decades, so it's plausible that the new Chinese helicopter is more efficient in that regard. With a lighter structure, more weight could be spent on fuel, armaments, sensors and protection. Though it's far from assured that the new Chinese helicopter is well armored. It's way too early to speculate on that. And if anything, the events in Iraq and in Ukraine show that attack helicopters are still fairly vulnerable, despite their armor. In Ukraine, attack helicopters are generally used from as far away as possible. In that sense, it's perhaps even questionable whether a new full-blooded attack helicopter is needed, or prudent to develop. The US, for example, recently cancelled its FARA helicopter program due to doctrinal changes. The future attack recon helicopter was to replace some of the Apaches, and the US attack helicopter that is to one day fully replace the Apache may indeed be unmanned. Frankly, on today's battlefields, coming in close to use a gun is almost unheard of. That just invites trouble. Helicopters are expected to have the best possible sensors and to fire off missiles from far, far away. In that regard, the new Chinese helicopter may not even need much armor, but the presence of a gun does seem to indicate that close quarters fights will be part of its mission set. And that necessarily means more armor needed. If the new helicopter has the pilot seated in front of the weapons systems officer, it may point to close quarters missions being unimportant. China is advancing quickly when it comes to sensors and missiles. Z-10 helicopter is advertised with 25 km range missiles, for example. For such range, third-party targeting and sensors are absolutely needed. So it may be that the new attack helicopter will be a niche product, a throwback to the Cold War, if you will. But more will be known in the coming years.